Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Welcome to Year Three English Lesson with me. I hope everyone will get ready with their lesson today. Now we are going to open our Get Smart book. Okay. We are going to continue our lesson last week. Now, before we start for this lesson, you will be able to understand main idea of short, simple text, guess the meanings of unfamiliar words, and answer the comprehension questions at least six correct. Okay, so I hope you are ready right now. Now let's look at the vocabularies first. Okay, I am going to introduce to you a few new words that you may unfamiliar with it. Teacher akan kenalkan beberapa perkataan yang awak mungkin tidak tahu. Okay, first one is play football. Yes, play football is main bola sepak. Second is do karate. Do karate is yes. Membuat karate. And the third one is swimming. Swimming. What is swimming? Yes, berenang. Good. Next is dive. So this is the new word. Dive means yes, menyelam. Next one is pain. Pain is yes, exactly. Me chat ataupun mewarna. And the last one is dance. I believe that you can guess the meaning. Yes, it is menari. Let's go to the next session. The next session is reading lesson. We are going to read a few short texts from the Get Smart Plus 3 textbook. Are you ready? Now, you are going to follow me reading the text. Listen and follow. Okay, please open Get Smart Plus 3 and turn to page 6. The title of the topic is Our World. Read first the text and you are going to listen and read together with me. Buka buka surat ini dan baca dahulu lepas tu akan baca bersama teacher. My friends my name's Chris. I'm 10 years old. My favorite sport is football. I can play football very well. This is my friend Kelly. She can't play football, but she can paint beautifully. Can you follow? Good. Next one. This is my friend Gary. He can't paint, but he can do karate. This is my friend Sam. He loves swimming. He can swim very well. He can dive too. Can you read it again? Bolehkah anda baca sekali lagi? Great. Now, let's do some comprehension. Now, comprehension is pemahaman. What you know from the text. Apa yang awak tahu daripada uh, text yang berikut. So, let's look. The first one. So, look at the picture. Now, who's that? Yes, it is Chris. Now, look at the question. What's his favorite spot? Uh, apa permainan? Ataupun sukan kegemaran Chris Do you remember from the text? 
his favorite spot. Ah, sukan kegemaran Chris. Yes. Ah, the answer is his favorite sports is football. Sukan kegemaran Chris ialah bermain bola. Okay. So if you look, you can actually find the answer from the text. Awak boleh cari jawapan tu dalam text, dalam buku, dalam text yang diberikan. Next, can we look? Can Kelly play football? Can Kelly play football? Adakah Kelly boleh bermain bola? Ha, you can refer to your text about Kelly. Boleh tengok pada teks yang menceritakan pasal Kelly. Can she play football? Bolehkah dia main bola sepak? Hmm. What is the answer? No, she can't. Ha, tidak boleh. Ha, dia tidak boleh bermain bola. So, what can she do? Ah, Yes, she can paint. Dia boleh mewarna. Ha, okay. So, the answer is just in the text. So, jawapan dia ada dalam buku teks tu je. Dalam teks yang diberikan. Let's look at the next question. Okay, who's this boy? Yes, this is Gary. So, from the text, what can Gary do? Daripada teks yang diberikan, apa yang Gary boleh buat? Please look at the action. So, he can, dia boleh... So, what is the answer? What can he do? He can do karate. Dia boleh buat karate. What ah, Macam tu. Okay. Kalau awak tengok kat sini, sini bersama dengan teks, awak boleh dapat jawapan je daripada teks tu. Okay. Dia beritahu awal-awal sebab nanti kita akan buat latihan yang sama. Okay. Let's look at the last question. Now, the last question is about Sam. Soalan yang terakhir ialah pasal Sam. Uh, can Sam swim and dive? Bolehkah Sam berenang dan menyelam? Uh, tengok baik-baik. Uh, this is my friend Sam. He loves swimming. He can swim very well and he can dive too. So, can Sam swim and dive Bolehkah dia berenang dan menyelam Yes He can uh, Awak tengok dalam soalan Dalam teks yang diberikan Ada jawapan dia Okay So Later Nanti Awak akan dapat soalan macam ni You don't have to worry Jangan be bang. The answer is just In the text Okay, I think it is time for our homework. Okay, I hope everyone will get ready with your stationeries, your pencil keys, your pencil colors. Okay, now please get ready with this worksheet. Sedia uh, lembaran kerja yang teacher telah berikan ini. Read and answer question. Baca dan jawab soalan. Okay, read the text carefully. Baca teks ni baik-baik. For example, like this. Number one, dia tanya, What is my name? Apa nama saya? Apa nama budak lelaki ni? Okay, so you just answer. Okay, you also must do this page. You must answer the question about Kelly. Kena jawab soalan pasal Kelly. Contoh nombor satu, who is this? So, the answer ada uh, ayat pertama. This is my friend Kelly. And the third worksheet is about Gary. Uh, uh, yes, I know it is a lot. Ada banyak. But this one is to help you to practice comprehension. Ini untuk membantu awak menjawab soalan pemahaman. 
And the last one is about Sam Okay So how many worksheets do you have That you have to complete Ada berapa lembaran kerja yang awak kena siapkan Yes Four Okay So for this class I hope that you understand the main idea of the short text And you can guess the meaning of the unfamiliar words And last, answer the comprehension questions Based on the short text at least 5 correct Okay I will mark your works once the school open Jangan tanda ke jawab apabila sekolah buka nanti Okay, thank you for attending my class. Thank you to listen and watch my video. I really hope to see you again on next lesson. Okay, goodbye. Have fun doing the lesson. Ta-ta.